Recovery International, and this was very different. This one was literally just for mental health. I just don't like mental health. So last night, or yesterday afternoon, I did do some things on my list. Path Farm, I think I told you, was the biggest thing I needed to do. I didn't spend that much time studying for Path Farm. I got distracted by an evidence-based practice assignment that I had a small thing I wanted to do for, and I ended up doing a lot for that. But that is done, that is good. And then I looked up on Zoom some meetings, and I found Recovery International group meetings that you could go to on Zoom, and this was very different. I mean, I should have known better, but I thought they were all for substance abuse, like AA, NA, friends of AA, friends of NA. This one was literally just for mental health. It was really fascinating. Recovery International, you can, you can look it up. To me, it was really missing the faith element. I mean, I am a, a Christian, and my faith impacts so much of everything I do, but especially my mental health. And there was no faith component to this program. I could see personally how my faith could tie into the things they were teaching, but it just didn't sit with me right that it was missing that. I feel like there was a hole in it. It was a good program though, like it was interesting. There was a lot of good in it. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. When I finished nursing school, I was like, you won't do this, but I'm seriously interested in going back to learn more about that program and see how I can apply it, you know, to Christian small groups, like at our church and stuff. So it was, it was fascinating. I enjoyed it, but it was 96 minutes, a 96 minute group, guys. That's a long time. So the I went to bed, I don't know, probably about 10, 30 or 11, but I had to get up this morning, it's 6 a.m., it's beautiful out, drive into clinicals, as soon as clinicals are over, I drive home to take a test, but it's a group test for mental health, uh, I just don't like mental health, I shouldn't complain about it because I think it's going to be very, very, very easy to pass, I mean, very easy to pass the class. So that's my main goal is to pass the class. But it's a group exam, which meant me and three other people, two or three other people, we had to find the same time we were available within a 14 hour window to take a test. Well, I'm gone for like a lot of those hours at clinicals. She did agree if people needed a different time, she would work with them. That was after we thought we only had that 14 hour window. Anyways, and then if it's a group test, how much do you really have to know? And it's open book. It just doesn't, to me, that doesn't sound like a test. That sounds like a project. Let's look up the answers and study together. That's what that sounds like. But whatever, I I don't mind. I would have, I would have preferred a teacher that gave us plenty of time to learn what we needed to know and taught us what we need to know and then just gave us a normal exam. But it is what it is. Like in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. My goal is to pass nursing school and this is not going to hinder that at all. And nurses do need to know how to work together, teamwork, collaborate and stuff. But we do that for projects. We do a lot of group stuff. If you want to know our skills individually, you probably should give us a test. But Whatever. Okay, I'm done talking about that. Done talking about mental health class. But uh, yeah, so clinicals today. Go home, take that group project exam thing. And then Saturday, uh, Saturday is a rest. I, although, I should study for pharmacology. I have to take the pharmacology test, I believe, by the end of the day Sunday. So Saturday will probably be cramming for the pharmacology test. I might go to Sam's Club Saturday because... My oldest two just got new glasses prescriptions, and Amber got prescription sunglasses, which she's super excited about. They're like really wrap around because she has, they're both visually impaired, but it's not a visual impairment that glasses help a lot with. So like Corey doesn't really have a history of wearing glasses because they literally help him just read one line lower on the eye chart. It's not that big of a difference. Amber, they help her a little more, but they are very, very light sensitive, my kids are, and so Amber wanted prescription 
sunglasses that really like wrap around and block all the light so she can start to practice driving. So those came in. I might try to pick those up Saturday. I should look at my calendar and see when am I driving to St. Louis next. For now though, I think the rest of this drive, I probably should stop and get some gas. And then I will probably listen to a YouTube nursing video because that is a great way to spend your drive. If you're in nursing school, there are so many videos and they say things often in ways that are more memorable than your professor because that's how they get the views, by being memorable. My daughter's eye doctor was talking about eye strain that they're probably going to have once they get to college because just the amount of fine print textbooks they're going to need to look at for college and I thought, and he is an older gentleman too, but I just thought you do not realize how much college has changed from back in the day because 20 years ago, guys, I needed to look at textbooks to learn stuff. I've hardly cracked the textbooks and they're online, so I'm pretty sure if I needed to make them larger print, I could easily, but the the low vision aids they talked about my kids needing when they were little because they're visually impaired. Technology has just made all those things very easily accessible whether you're visually impaired or not. Like, um, yeah, they get eye fatigue easy, but they talked about you might need a monocular to spot the prices on the, on the fast food, like, board. Um, yeah, it's on your phone now for McDonald's and in 10 years it'll be on your phone for every single restaurant I'm sure like look up the prices right on your phone so yeah just to ramble about their vision stuff okay I'm putting up I'm putting stuff off I need to get gas and then I need to study pharmacology learn about the liver and musculoskeletal disorders I think and, yeah all right I'm gonna have a good day